and in the winter, Boudry's father and mother repeatedly went to sell big trees to the town. However, they always returned home with only a few weak flowers, however, they somehow managed to spend that winter safely. And it has become spring again. Boudry's father and mother planted seeds in the field, but this year as well as the previous year, cereals could not be harvested. And in autumn, finally it has become a real famine. At that time, there were no children coming to school anymore. Boudry's father and mother have completely quit their jobs, and they frequently consulted carefully, went out to the town and sold trees. Sometimes they brought back some grains of millet, but sometimes they did not have anything and were disappointed and they came back. And this family spent that winter by eating the fruit of porcus serrata, the roots of kudzu and warabi, the soft skin of wood and various things. But by the time next spring came, both father and mother seemed to be suffering from something terrible disease. One day, Boudry's father had been thinking for a long time, but he suddenly stood up and said, I will go to the forest. And he went out the house. Then he never came back. What happened to our baby? Boudry and Mary asked his mother, but she kept silent and only looked at their faces. On the next evening, when the forest was completely dark, Boudry's mother stood suddenly, put a lot of firewood in the furnace, made the house brighter all the way, and said, I'm going to looking for your dad. If you get hungry, eat the flour little by little. And she also left home. When they cried and chased the mother, the mother turned around and told to Boudry and Mary. Do as I said. And she quickly went into the forest. Boudry and Mary went back and forth many times and cried around and walked around. At last they could not stand it and went into a dark forest. They walked wandering around the hop gate and around the spring water and called their mother all night. From the trees of the forest, the stars were shining brightly. Birds were often flying in the darkness as if they were surprised. But they could not hear their mother's voice from anywhere. At last, they came home idly and fell asleep as if they were dead.